We wanted to talk with people face to face to see firsthand what their faces and bodies looked like when they described their everyday lived experiences. We wanted to see their pain. We wanted to witness their oppression firsthand. We wanted to laugh and weep with them while they told us their stories. We wanted to hear their voices which came from the depths, the core of their inner beings. We wanted to watch them in their natural settings as they really were. We wanted to get to the ground of truth, to the reality of their everyday lives. We longed for our own experiences of being there with them in the field, being present, being witnesses in the moment with them. Then if we'd carefully and systematically captured and recorded that authentic reality, we could reproduce it, represent it in words, in thick description, so that others could read our texts and be there too. So I have a pretty deep connection with a lot of these pieces, just historically with my family and this idea that um, I can't track back my history further than 200 years and all that my family knows is oppression. Um, this whole idea of civil rights movement, my grandfather, his house got bombed, his, he was arrested, his children were taken away from him just because he was a black man married to a white woman and that was illegal during the time and they didn't like that this black man was with a white woman and that wasn't that many years ago, that was maybe 50, 51 years ago and that's, that's how old my mom is, you know, and I have someone who's living, who's been through these oppressions and now we're dealing with Black Lives Matter movement and police brutality and all these shootings and these racist comments in the news and the media and we haven't moved that far away from a lot of the issues that are being talked about in these artworks and with these artists. We're still dealing with it, it still feels the same. People are still being tortured and living in horrible living conditions and being oppressed on a daily basis because of their femininity or because of their masculinity, how they decide to identify their race, their ethnicity, where they come from, what religion they have. And so um, this, I think this show really reflects a lot of those things we're still dealing with in 2017. So this exhibit, and I guess art in general, has really allowed me to have a constructive discussion with people who aren't like me. I guess people who come from different backgrounds and who have experienced these struggles, who have a history of their own with all of these issues. And I'm not black, I'm not white. I come from a tiny little indigenous tribe. I'm a minority myself, so... Um, it's been really interesting to hear other people's perspective and to really empathize with them in any way that I, can, I possibly could, so. So, um, as a white male who grew up in rural Washington, uh, the counter narrative was never something that I was exposed to as a child. So I never really saw the counter narrative and it's something that even until I was like a freshman in college, I didn't even really think existed. I had this, this really big cloud over my mind of just, everything's fine, don't worry about racism, it's not affecting you. Um, but through my interactions with the arts and um, not just this exhibit, but every exhibit that has to do with cultures that are less privileged than mine, um, I get a sense of empathy. Art can be a lot of things. It can be a question, it can be an answer to a question, but it can also be a way to look at something through an empathetical viewpoint. And that's what I get. I get to find out through these exhibits how people live on a day-to-day -day basis, what they experience from a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that that's something that's really powerful for me because I'll never, I'll never experience being left out because of my skin color. So in order to gain empathy for people in these positions, art is a very good way for me to do that. Because I get to go, oh, that's what they're experiencing. They're, there's, there are entire cultures that are being destroyed and just, just brutalized by my culture. And the way that I can find that out is through the arts, how this is affecting one person can give me a glimpse of how it's affecting the entire society that they live in. 
What I hope for people to understand is that everything is not what it seems. There are struggles that people hide within themselves that they don't want others to see. And these struggles may not be as obvious to others because they might have not experienced it themselves, but we can't go on our lives with this attitude of if I didn't see it happen or if I didn't know of it, then it actually never happened. And unfortunately, that's a perception that some people have. Also surrounding uh, broader issues in society, of course. But it's important to be able to empathize with one another and try to understand each other and not contribute to the problem of kind of sweeping issues under the rug if we've never seen them.